Or how significant are mycotoxins that are revealed in a urine test? Okay, so I, I, I do consider them significant. Now, we're talking about mold here now, right? So when I'm thinking about mold, I'm thinking about many different slices of the pie. This could be another webinar on its own. I'm thinking about, is the patient still exposed to mold? When I see a high mycotoxin load, I'm thinking these things, right? Is the exposure external to them? Is it in the environment, maybe in their home, maybe in their car? Is it internal to them? We know it can be in the gut, in the sinuses, on the skin. It's often in both. Does a, does a person have an allergic response to the mold spores themselves? Does the person have an allergic response to the mycotoxins? And, and do they have a high load of mycotoxins? So if someone comes into me and they have, they come with me with just the data of, I have a lot of mycotoxins, that a lot of red flags come up in my mind and I want to explore all of them because it's not just about mycotoxins. So usually I'm testing all those things for my patients if I suspect that mold and mycotoxins are an issue. Yeah, that was a, a beautiful <laughs> answer. No, no, that was great. That, no, that, that was just perfect. I'd throw in only one extra thing is if, if you're 10 times the normal of the lab, I would be, yeah, then I'm really concerned that you are being exposed to mycotoxins. If you're two, three times normal, I would repeat that a few times. And I know it's not free, so, but I, uh, and, and see if it really stays up. Um, you know, again, if, if your symptoms and your, if you have the whole picture of a mold exposure and mold symptoms, uh, you know, yeah, but um, the, the, the the testing isn't perfect. I mean, the test is very good. Okay. It's a mass spec. What they're measuring is what they're, I mean, it's real. It's there. The question we don't know is how much is background, how much is from the environment? Because we're, again, mold exposure and mycotoxin exposure is a normal part of life. Okay. It's just that it should be relatively low. So anyway, the, just an aside, just remember is that just because it's two times normal, don't jump up and down like I'm dying with mycotoxins. You have to work a little harder and dig deeper.